I mean, Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this guy. Beautiful strike. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. There, huge block for him. Oh! Now goes in and secures the takedown. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's gonna be. Watch right, a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on them. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Well, you got to stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Volkanovski. Both fighters get up now. Nice leg kick. Nice punch by Volkanovski. Wow. That's a really strong leg kick there by Volkanovski. Just over 20 total strikes have landed for Alexander Volkanovski. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break him? Both fighters back to their feet now. Beautiful leg kick throw. Oh, nice takedown defense. That double leg attempt looked like it might be good. He wasn't having it. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. I have a novel idea. Maybe the opponent should try to check him. He's got to try to check him, but he can't, John, because there's no wind-up. Yeah. There's no tell. And when he feels his opponent is getting a beat on his leg kick, he'll just pop a jab up, get the hands up to block the face, blast the leg kick on the bottom. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that is so diverse yeah. and has such a great understanding of landing these leg kicks. Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Oh! He needs to start looking for finish line because he's got to recover here very bad. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high level grappler. You don't see that very often. Oh, you gotta watch him attack his submissions. He throws the legs up to try to get a triangle choke here. Watch triangle, watch triangle. There he is, he's moving to the finishing position. Now watch, he goes parallel right next to his opponent. When it's time to finish, he has... Oh, now he's in trouble. Wow. All right, side control now. He's going for a submission. Oh, he's got a choke. Look at him push the arm down, maybe step into a crucifix. Wow, you don't see that very often. Oh, he's in trouble here. His opponent had 
to tap from an inverted triangle. This is not something you see very often. Well, I don't determine who wins the bonuses, but when you execute an inverted triangle choke like that, pay that man. Pay that man. At the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submissions. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there he is, the UFC lightweight champion, and I'm not sure any 155-pounder could have held up under the onslaught here tonight. He wins the belt by way of submission. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliana has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 54 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out. And still! Well, many 